Now I've got that mic hooked up. Let's see if this now is I've any got better. That mic hooked up. Let's see if this is any better. Let's see. Hold on, let me get that feedback out of there. How's that? Is that better? Okay. What I did is I had to go with my, um, I'm trying to do, yeah, right, take two. Um, I went back and I have an audio mic, which is, sorry, I shouldn't touch it, but it's this guy. I usually use it whenever I'm doing anything where I'm moving around, and uh, it usually helps a little bit. But like I said, I haven't used one like this, and I tried earlier to do the live stream to schedule it, but for some reason, I just cannot get these things to where I can schedule a live stream and it work right. Um, I just want to plan one out so I can set it up for like eight or nine o'clock and then everybody just show up and, you know, well, I don't know. I just I guess I have to do them more often to know uh, how to do this right. So this is going to be the trial and error process. I've done a few in the past, but I haven't done one in a while. But I am glad that you guys are here. Um, as I see, I see Tom Weingart is here, uh, Creative Redundancy. Thank you both for tuning in. We thank you very much for being involved. I guess we have also some, um, some uh, probably not the best audio. I'm in my kitchen. Um, we got this for Christmas. We got a little corner unit. And um, then you see my coffee rack that I built for, I have quite a few coffee cups. So I built my wife a coffee rack out of pallets. And uh, it turned out pretty good. Uh, she likes it but what I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna be showing you my January 
six cents subscription box and my January monster bass. Now the difference is my monster bass box is only the $25 subscription. It is not the $30, $35 subscription. Um, I am upgrading and going to the more expensive box for next month. But uh, before this, this has only been the $25 box. But uh, this one's only 30, like 32, so not a huge difference. But they're both really good boxes, and they both give you great products. Six cents lures are not cheap. If you can find them, um, I can find them at Academy, and they're just they're great, great lures. I mean, I've really enjoyed using them. Um, a couple of their top water, uh, their jerk baits are incredible, and their uh, square build crank baits are awesome. I've, I've enjoyed both of them. They both work really, really well. But um, Monster Bass is getting there. I think they've really done well. I'm going to open the box. And if you haven't seen any of the ones for this month, this one was what they called a Strike King Takeover. So everything in this box from Monster Bass is from Strike King. And they gave you this killer insert. And the insert shows you what you could get. Depends on what box you sign up for. You're gonna, and also even if you did, it's you're not necessarily gonna exactly get what I got. Even if you have the exact same subscription, you're not gonna get the same lures, which is good. But Strike King makes some incredible stuff, you know. Uh, just like most of the time, they always do their little box where you they want you, you know, they give you the measurement, take your pictures, upload them on social media. You know, they can. I've I've known people that have uploaded their photos and gotten discount codes for swag. You know, for shirts, hats, things like that. It works out really good. But uh, they also give you a card so you can buy for 20% off of any purchase. And that's um, for Monster Bass swag. Like usually, they do give you stickers almost always, which has been great. Sometimes I've gotten three, four at one time uh, in the first one. Now, I will say I like the fact that if you order the Monster Bass box you get they send you a box they send you that first box the very first one i ever reviewed they send you that box if you look back at my one i did in december i showed you two two months of boxes the first one is the box i think everybody gets it's got that big red and white jerk bait it's a great little great box uh, this one right here is all strike king um, now the, one thing i will start off with is this is a thunder cricket this is like a strike king's version of the chatterbait this is a great little lure. This is not a cheap lure. These, I honestly hadn't bought one yet because I've got some, I've got some chatterbaits, but I hadn't bought one of the thunder crickets just because they're more expensive. And um, I have the other ones and they work. So I'm not one of these people. I'm going to spend extra money when I have the lure that's working. So uh, when it comes to a, one that does this kind of setup where it's a, you know, action bait and the jerk baits, uh, chatterbaits, thunder crickets, they're great. This is a half ounce, and it's in, um, let's see what color they call this. Uh, they call it Bruiser. It's kind of a blue and gray. I don't think I can get this close enough to the camera. Um, it's like a blue and gray half ounce lure. Not bad. Uh, the next is going to be a KVD Strike King uh, square bill crankbait in brown craw. Now that's nice. That's a KVD 1.5, uh, dives three to five feet. I throw a lot of square build crankbaits personally. I just do. Um, most of the ones I end up doing, uh, I like my uh, square build crankbait because I fish a lot of lakes and a lot of ponds, and a lot of them aren't very deep, so you can't really throw it out there and go, and go deep. Um, we've got AOK Foraging. Hey, glad to see you guys are here. And. Um, I like fishing um, because I like to eat fish. Now, I'm not a bass eater. I don't eat bass. Um, we do catch and eat crappie. Uh, we eat trout. Uh, we eat catfish. You know, things like that. Uh, perch. I love perch. But um, I'm not a bass person. I'm not going to... I like catching bass because they're big. They're like stripers. Uh, when you catch a big striper, um, you know, I've eaten striper and I probably will again soon. But I don't watch most of mine when it comes to that i don't go fishing for food now i do on occasion like when we're camping i'll go and i'll plan on catching what eating whatever i catch if it happens to be bad enough where i actually catch a you know a bass i'd probably eat it just because it's food and uh when i'm going camping like that i'm planning on eating something and i, I might not catch anything else you know 
And, um, hey, oh, Thack says it's uh, perch season, and you're up in Tennessee or Kentucky, Thack. Says Brenda's working. Nice. Uh, the next thing they threw in there is a pack of these plastics, a four inch Rage Menace. Oh, you're in Iowa. If you guys haven't ever checked out AOK Foraging and Adventures, uh, Thack and Brenda do some amazing stuff. They go, they travel all over, and they camp, and they get to enjoy the outdoors. So make sure you guys go check them out. Uh, it's a four-inch Rage Menace. You got a whole pack of these, and uh, these are in Green Pumpkin. Now it seems like anytime I ever get any type of box or any type of Rage, it's always Green Pumpkin or one of those green patterns. You know, just because they're that, they're just common, you know, I guess. But uh, that's not bad, because that's not a cheap pack of, of plastics. That's, you know, you're talking about six, seven bucks, uh, unless you get them when they're on sale. So between these three, I mean, this one right here, the Thunder Cricket is not cheap. This is um, seven to ten bucks, depending on where you're at. So I'll give them the benefit of the doubt and say seven. Um, then you've got the KVD, you know, any Strike King lures are not going to be cheap. Uh, they just aren't. Um, next, we're going to do another pack of Rage Tails. These are Rage Crossed. And this is a 7-pack of the 4-inch Bama Bug. Nice. I love big, soft plastics like this. I flip a lot of plastics. Being I kayak fish more than I do anything, I honestly don't even I don't even know where my bass boat is right now. Um, we, we do have a bass boat, but... We enjoy kayak fishing. Uh, my little man, Caden, loves to go kayak fishing. He loves to catch fish and fish out of his kayak, and he has a great time doing it. And for me, that's enough of a reason to go. Um, he wants to go. We're going to go. We're going to have a good time. We catch fish. Uh, we The last time we went, we, we haven't gone since before Christmas. Um, you know, now we're at the end of January, so we've taken a little bit of a hiatus, you know. Um, I like kayak fishing, too. Um, I have sat there and done a lot of kayak fishing. I actually have two kayaks out there right now. I have a brand new Ascend 10T and a brand new Pelican Catch 120. Neither one of them have even been in the water yet. Um, one I picked up, I traded my son's old four-wheeler for it. And then the other one I bought used off of, um, I bought used, basically traded. You know, I think I traded a 9mm for it. You know, oh, hey, thanks for stopping by. We wish you, uh, wish you have a, hope you have a great night. Be safe out there. And um, thank you so much for stopping by. Um, and thank you for being part of my audio problem and helping me figure out what my problem was. Uh, when we first started off, I had a big audio problem, but we got it figured out. Um, make sure before you leave, make sure you hit the, the thumbs up button in your comments because I'm, at the end, I'm going to give away two rod sleeves based on my comments that are in here. And these are just two like this. These are um, This is a 7-foot Daiwa rod. But these are just rod sleeves if you plan on doing any traveling. It makes it a lot easier to organize your gear and not mess them up. Um, keeps them from getting the eyes caught on each other and getting your gear caught on each other. And not just a big tangled mess. Because mine do that anyways. Um, and the last... The last lure in the Monster Bass box is the KVD 6XD. Um, it's a 19-foot deep diver, and that's a nice-looking nice looking lure. I like that. And that is in uh, Neon Bluegill. I like that. I like deep diving crank, uh, crankbaits and uh, like that, especially when I fish lakes like Lake Lanier, Lake Hartwell. They're deep lakes. Or even uh, Bear Creek Reservoir, which is over here by our house not too far. Uh, it's a deep, deep lake. For a small lake, it's deep. But it's a water, it's a water, um, water reservoir. That's why. And um, that's it. That's the items for the Strike King takeover of the Monster Bass. Uh, I'll put those back in this box. Get them out of the way. And next I'm going to open up is the Six Sense Lures. Now, Six Sense, they gave us a card this time. And it tells us um, the price of each one of these jerk baits, and they're lipless and everything. And it's it's pretty cool because this is the sixth sixth sense. Um, they give you six six items each month. So I'll pull all those out, get them out of the way. And one of the first things I noticed is we get a pair of titanium fishing line scissors. Now I'm going to bust these open, and I'm going to show you 
to give an idea of what they look like. I like that. Now, I don't understand that. The package says stainless steel serrated edges. But I don't see the serrations. I mean, they're just scissors. I, I guess I see that now. They've got like this. Hold on, let me see. Yes. Oh, man, they, the sleeves come in really handy. I'm getting up a little closer so I can show you guys this. Because it doesn't really, you have to see it to understand it. They've got like a really weird edge to them. Let's see if I can get a good, see it? They're not just, they're not like normal right angle, you know, where they're opposites to each other. They've got like this lip right here. Not bad. I bet they will do short work on a freaking, on a uh, braided line. I mean, that's what it says they're good for. Um, it says perfect for cutting braid. That's a nice little pair of scissors. I always like a good pair of scissors, especially little titanium ones. So uh, they say on here that they're six bucks. If they work and they cut braid, they are worth that. They're worth more than that to me. But um, yeah, the knot sleeves are pretty cool. That's what they look like. And then this is what they look like fully exposed. And this is a seven foot three Daiwa Procaster. Um, I needed a couple of these for my kayak. When I go to loading them up, I can stow them in my Kusa, my Jackson Kusa, and I can stick them from the front to the back, but I can't if and pull them out if they're not in sleeves, they catch on each other. Then I gotta pull all of them out at the same time. Um, so that's what those are gonna look like. Uh, and what I'll do is at the end I'm gonna take all the comments and I'm gonna pick somebody. So make sure you comment, which you guys are all doing. I like the interaction. Uh, and it's a lot of fun. Uh, the next thing we're going to show is we're going to jump into the Sixth Sense Lures. Uh, it's a 250MD uh, deep diving crankbait uh, in custom bluegill. It says it's a 5 8 ounce, and it's this one says, what's it say, uh, 7 to 11 feet. Nice. That's nice. I love the colors. Um, if you guys... Rosef! Nice. I have not seen my Brosif in a while. I haven't talked to him. Good to see you. But this is one thing I will say about Six Sense lures. Look at the detail on these things. I know my camera's probably not going to be the best. You can see my fingers are really dirty. You know, I work on cars. Sorry, guys, I should wash my hands if I'd known I was going to be doing this. But their detail on these things are incredible. I smashed my finger last Friday. I'm going to lose my nail. So, it's awful. So, my nail's about to fall off. It's awful. It's pretty gross. So, yeah, that was pretty gross. Um, next, each one of those are always packaged in like this little shrink wrap stuff. Uh, the next is a lipless crankbait um, in Chrome Magic. It's got like this really cool green uh, with a chrome body with like green and uh, dark stripe across the top. They're lipless crankbaits. They could send me one of those red and orange chrome looking things every month and I'd be happy. You know? I'd be happy with just one of those. Uh, next, because that one's only good for... What's it say? Does it say how deep these things usually go? No. I mean, it's a lipless crankbait. You're talking about... 6 to 12 inches, you know, roughly. These are 5 eighths, so they might go a little deeper than that. But I throw a lot of lipless crankbaits. I just do. Um, nice. Yeah, if, make sure if you guys are not, not familiar with AOK Outdoors, go over. They're doing a huge giveaway. Get involved in that. Be part of it. It's awesome. Um, Thack and um, Brenda are great. Um, and Broseph, man, <laughs> Joseph Russell, good to see you, brother. Glad to have you part of this. Um, sorry if I'm not making a lot of eye contact. I'm trying to show you guys everything. Uh, this is the Curve 55. This is the third, uh, fourth if you count the scissors. Uh, this is the Curve 55. This is a five to nine foot um, little diving crankbait in Curve Crawfish Clone. Nice. We got two more. 
Um, the next is a square build flat crankbait, the Flat 75 Crush X. That's nice. A 5 8 um, It says fast action. That's nice. Uh, I'm trying to see what it says. Five foot. Runs at a five foot, but it's square bill, so it's going to get a little action, a little side to side thing going on. It's nice. I like that. And that is Shad Fantasy. I mean, their colors are just incredible. And I'm not trying to take away from the other ones, but it's just like this. I'm going to bust this one open. If I can open it. But it's just, you just don't really, you can't really tell by the detail and take a look at them and get an idea. This is a Strike King crankbait. Bump my, bump my tripod, I'm sorry. You know, not very, not much to it. It's just kind of, it doesn't, it doesn't look like it's anything special. It, you know, nothing more, nothing more or less than what you'd expect to see on a normal, anything you found at Walmart. I mean, you know, and then there's that, you know, it's just got a lot of metallic in it. It looks like somebody put a lot of thought into it. Uh, like Thack said, you know, the eyes just pop. Uh, they just look good. Um, Strike King does great stuff. I mean, I throw Strike King um, lipless crankbaits almost every day if I go fishing. If I'm going fishing, I probably got a lipless crankbait, a Strike King lipless in my, you know, on one of my rods. I mean, it's just the way they are. So, but that's the difference in six cents because Strike Kings aren't cheap, you know. You know. Yeah, I, I agree. Now, I've had a lot that are basic ones like this. Like I have one that's just a white and all, all white with a green back. That's like, I don't know. It's like a Norman. I catch more lures, more fish on that lure than on any of these other high high end ones. You know, but it's just, that's, it's a fluke. I don't know what it is about it. It's a square build crankbait and it's by Norman and it's just an awesome one. I think I probably, I probably own 10 or 12 of them by now. How many fishing rods do I have now? Oh, I don't know. Um, I had, last year I had my trailer stolen with my, with two of my kayaks on it. And uh, it took me a little while. It really kind of screwed up last year when it came to fishing. I still had my Kusa, but I didn't have my two other ones that were all with everything rigged up. I lost a bunch of my good rods, so I've kind of had to been, you know, buying a little bit along the way uh, to get myself replenished. And uh, right now, I've probably got about six or eight altogether, you know, good bait casters that I like. Uh, I bought three back at Christmas that were all um, Abu Garcias. Um, I bought a Silver Max, a Blue Max, and a Pro Max. And they're all great rods, but I was just, I'm limited. I'm not one of these people I can't go spend $100 on a fishing rod. I just don't have that kind of money. Um, so when it comes down to it, like this one right here, this is a Daiwa, this is one of my newer rods. It's a Daiwa Procaster 80. And this is a great rod. This is a 7 foot 3 bait caster. Um, it's really nice. Uh, I got it, and it was like 60 bucks, you know. But that's that's still a lot of money, you know. But I need one that works really, really good, you know. Uh, Abu Garcia, for the money, I'll say that. That Procaster has been one of my go-to rods. I use it more than anything. Uh, the other ones are very temperamental and don't seem to work as work nonstop. But that whatever the difference is that they spend going from Silver Max and Black Max to Pro Max, it works. Um, and the last one in our Six Sense collection is the Provoke 106X. This is a jerk bait. Um, it's a half ounce jerk bait, slow floating suspended jerk bait. I like that. I don't want one that's gonna. I don't want one that stays completely floated. That you know pops up all the way. But I want one that's gonna stay there. You know. It says Ghost Sexified Shad. Sexified. Okay. Right. Yeah, that's sexified. It's kind of read. Print's so small, you know. See, me, um, it depends on what I'm doing. One, now that I've gotten used to 
flipping and pitching with plastics and soft plastics and um, doing any kind of um, soft plastics. I've gotten to where jerk bait, um, bait casters are so reliable. Like this one right here, this one right here, I'm running 40 pound braid on this one. Um, and you just feel every little tap of them on that lure. Um, and it's just because that rod, that seven foot graphite rod is just so strong. It just makes it makes it where you feel every little tap you can feel see i'm not one of these people i don't have this incredible vision i see people all the time talking about they're like oh he picked it up he put it in his mouth he dropped it oh he picked it up again i can't see that i don't see what they see i don't have that one i'm not in the lakes that are that clear so i can't see any of that you know but um i'd say uh, the sixth sense does a great job um personally with me, for me, I would not have. I, I was okay with getting the scissors, but I would have rather the scissors been like a bonus than it be counted as one of my lures, you know. And they always give you your little crushed velvet, what look like the little Crown Royal bags. These are really nice. Um, I, they gave us a red one back at Christmas, and now they gave us a blue one in January. So I like this. Um, if you're if, if you're somebody that wins. Um, I'll order one, a set of these, and I'll send them to you straight from, um, I'll ship them straight from Amazon. I'll just buy them off there. I'm not, you know, they're not free, so I'm having to pay for them. But, um, they're awesome. This, the, both these boxes are great products. Um, I enjoy them. Okay, it says I'm using a Mitchell 308, and I bought, and like, yeah. Oh, that sucks. That sucks, Tom. Yeah, I know how you feel. When I lost mine, yeah, see, when I use the polarized glasses it doesn't help me um i can see fish better that way i see fish in clear water better but it doesn't help me see the others um but tom that sucks i know exactly how you feel uh when i got mine stolen last year we were on our way home from being fishing all day it was devastating i mean i just lost everything i, lo I lost all that gear i mean i probably between the trailer which was you know a thousand dollar trailer you know lance you know a little 12 by eight uh six or eight landscape trailer with two kayaks i had a, a jackson big rig and a jackson tuna so you had almost three grand worth of kayaks on there i mean it was awful and then a thousand dollar trailer plus fishing gear it hurt and um my insurance covered part of it but not all of it so i ended up getting my trailer replaced um and i bought my kayaks i ended up getting i think i ended up getting part of my money back but not enough not to cover everything you know so i enjoy both these boxes and for me it's i don't i don't have time to go to all these stores so a lot of people say why would you want to buy a box of gear i don't go have time to go to bait and tackle stores i just don't i don't want i don't like that kind of thing i don't want to sit there and just roam around dick sporting goods and academy i I just don't have that much time on my hands. I mean, it's just the way I am. I work all week, and then um, by the time I get where I have a chance to go somewhere like that, I just want to go. Um, I want to go fishing. So when I get a chance, like um, one of the boxes a while back from uh, Monster Bass, they gave us this Lunker Hunt Spider. I lost one of the biggest fish I've ever caught. Um, I was flipping at a log across the street from where I work. There's a little pond. I go over there at lunch, and um, I was flipping this log and I hooked up on it. And I, the reason I did that little video a couple weeks back where I talked about how to reset your bait caster, how to crank back on your, on the adjustment to get it where it'll pop to come back in. I hooked up with this fish and I had no way to crank. It was just the, I was cranking the, the reel and nothing was happening. And it was just taking line and it ended up getting up into these other logs and I lost the fish. I was devastated, you know? So I did the little video a couple weeks back where I talked about how to fix your bait caster. And the reason I did that was because that was why I had had it happen a couple times. And that was with an Abu Garcia black max, but I've had it happen with other rods and other, I mean, other reels. And, um, uh, that's one thing I know a lot of people say, that's why they don't trust bait casters because you know, if that, if that happens, you know, you just can't control it, but it happens, you know, but it's fishing. I mean, there's worse things. I, I, I've never understood that statement when people say, you know, it's a good day fishing or a bad day fishing is better than a good day at work. I watched the deadliest catch. I don't think that's true. You know, on the deadliest catch, I've seen people die on this boat. 
They were fishing. They thought they were having fun. Trust me. It didn't end well. You know? But uh, we're looking forward to it. We're looking forward to the spring coming up. We're going to hit the water, do a lot more uh, fishing this year. Uh, my nine-year-old, like I said, he likes to fish. He's been fishing out of his kayak last year. He's going to upgrade to a nine-foot kayak this year, so he's going to have a little more stability, a little more comfort to, for, to be able to fish. We're looking forward to it. We have a lot of ex um, excited plans this summer and this spring. We're excited. We can't wait. Um, I don't plan on waiting too much longer. Heck, here in Georgia, it was 45 degrees. You know, you know, it's it's warm. It's warm, and um, as long as I'm not going swimming, I'm okay, I guess. You know, but heck, you go put yourself in a kayak. There's always a chance you're going to go swimming. So, but uh, guys, I want to. Um, what do you guys think? What do you guys think out of if you were picking between these two boxes? Um, for those of you that tuned in late, the Monster Bass box. You got two soft, two packs of soft plastics. You got this deep diving crankbait. And you got a Thunder Cricket, a sticker, and uh, this little square build crankbait. That was your what you got for 25 bucks. And then uh, this is the six cents box. You got these four plus the guy I keep I've shown you that guy and this pair of titanium scissors and that set would be 32 bucks and six cents does have a cheaper box um, but this is what they call the premium um, I like the box for 32 bucks this right here like it says on theirs this one's nine bucks this one's eleven dollars if you buy it in the store it's an eleven dollar jerk bait i mean they're, their lures are expensive you know yes I, I i agree i i like especially now six cents has been updating they've been adding getting more and more soft plastics and expanding themselves that's awesome um i think they're only going to get better um monster bass i would have loved to have been able to review the big box uh, the $35 box, to be able to give it a little bit better of a comparison. These aren't cheap. Six Cents is a great box, but I don't think the this Monster Bass... If you wanted to try out the Monster Bass box, right now you can do the KVV, the Strike King Takeover box. If you use the code RICK15, you get $15 off your first box, which is $35 bucks, uh, for the big box. Uh, the $35 for the big box, you save, put in Rick 15, you save $15 off that one. So you're getting it for 20 bucks. If you only got this for 20 bucks, you got your money's worth. Because that right there is 10 bucks. And these are more than $5 a piece. So, plus then you got these two. Um, if you get the bigger box, the $35 box, you got, I think it was seven. So you got. I think you got a spinner bait and another um, a lipless crankbait. So you got two more lures. So easily more more applicable of a comparison to this. I would, like I said, I didn't. I don't have that. I don't get that subscription. So maybe next month I'll show you that one because um, we are upgrading to that one now. Uh, just because I saw the box of what other people were getting and I was like, man, that was a great deal. Someone got those guys got some great stuff. See, Tom agrees. Um, Facts on the same page as me. Uh, if I was putting in, if these were both the same price, if I paid thirty bucks for this, I would still be in the same boat. You know. Oh, <laughs> well, the good thing about it is, if you get the box, either one, the six cents box or the monster bass box, you guys can share. I mean, I'm sure you guys share tackle boxes, anyways. I mean, you guys are such a close couple. I mean, that's that's the good thing about this. You know. Um, me personally, I think I'm going to put together a throw, throw together a box in the next month's box. When I do this, I'll try and do a live stream to do the same way and just see how it goes. And, um, when I do that one, I will show, I will give away some other stuff. I do have it where if you're involved in the other box, the one from last month, click, go over and comment on it and make sure you're involved. Cause I'm giving away two of the lure, big lures, the big deep diving crankbaits that they gave away. They included in those boxes in that giveaway plus i've still got my swiss army giveaway going on that one right now it's kind of it went like up i wanted to get to 50 some, uh, likes on it it went to like 35 in like one day and then it's like 37 37 and it's just stayed there 
nobody wanted to watch it anymore. So I guess I'll give it to the end of the month, and then I'm just going to close it. I won't wait for 50 and because um, I hate to draw it out any longer than I have to. So, you know. Oh, <laughs> that's funny. Well, what you do is, um, I guess, work it out where you get, like, say, one month's yours, one month's hers. Or, you know, however you want to do it. Because you never know what's gonna, which month is going to be better. So you could say, this one, if you signed up now, you know what you're going to get. You know you're going to get the bigger box, not this box. You know, so I've enjoyed them. Um, like I said, I like the, the Sixth Sense box. They give you some good stuff. And uh, like I said, check out uh, in the comments down below. I will post the winner for this based on who's been in here. There haven't been very many of us. I think we're, we're up to four, four or five. I can't tell. Um, I appreciate it. I thank you guys for being part of this live stream. Um, like I said, I'll give away a pack of these. Um, they were great. And one thing I like about them is these are from Runkle. Um, it's one of those Amazon companies, but they make some good stuff. Um, the braid that's on here is actually Runkle too. Um, I actually use one of their nets. Um, I like a bunch of their stuff. They're kind of like how um, Lixada is on eBay. Um, Runkle is on Amazon, you know. But um, these ones actually have the little little leashes, so you can stretch them over this to keep them from coming off, so they don't just fly off. I like that. That's really cool. Uh, before this, what I was doing is I was taking those hair bands and looping them through there and tying them off and that's what I've been using in the past because none of mine had these little leashes on them so very nice but um what do you guys have planned for this year if 2020 what is your go-to plan are you planning on going anywhere and doing anything uh we right now we have a couple family trips planned which will obviously will um, share with you guys but we're trying to do more of a blog vlog style um, our, our family trips like you show if like I showed uh, last weekend I showed you the video when I took my son trout fishing lots of fun lots of fun um, it's it's it, I don't want it just to be stuffy reviews where I'm talking about stuff I want you guys to get to know us a little better. And also, I want to open that chance up for it to be interactive. I want you guys to, like, if I'm going somewhere and I can communicate it in advance, feel free to join us. Um, if you're ever in the area and would like to join us on a Sunday, we, you know, come for church, go have lunch. We are open for that. There is a state park right here. Uh, we are actually talking about doing a get-together before the summer's out. It's Georgia. Um, if we go anywhere, we're going to be camping anywhere near you know, anywhere here from the spring to the fall, it's going to be near water, you know. Nice. For your 50th birthday. Wow. Mule deer hunting. Nice. Man, I so wish. Um, no, Guggen Slayer, we, you did not miss it. We're still going, but um, yes, we finished up on the review. But um, I wish I was back in California. I don't wish I lived there by any means. But um, I do wish I, I could I w was able to go back more often than what I do. Um, I have some family members there that won't live forever, so I'd love to be able to go. My uncle John um, was one of the first people that ever really got me into fishing. Uh, my uncle Bobby passed away a few years ago, and um, he was he used to take me out on the Sacramento and the American, and we did sturgeon fishing and salmon fishing, and it was awesome. I mean, we had a great time. He was, um, he was a great man to grow up with, um, lots of fun. Um, I have five sisters, so several of my sisters' husbands have all been, you know, because I'm the youngest, um, they have, their husbands have been a very intricate, integral parts of my life, of me getting into the outdoors, hunting, fishing. Um, my sister's husband, John, he passed away years ago uh, when my oldest son was born. Um, and uh, it's awesome. Um, it, it's I look back at some of those moments and I just, I remember them like they were, like they were yesterday. I mean, they're just awesome. Now I know I share those moments. I've shared those moments with my oldest son, Sammy. Um, he's 18 now, but, um, he's been involved in a lot of that. He's seen that. Um, he's already seen the aspects of going outdoors and spending time in nature. It's awesome. Um, I, not sure. Hold on. I got to check something. I got to make sure I don't, I lost. I think I'm losing my video. I don't know how much longer I have, but, um,
didn't know we had been this long so i won't keep you guys but guys make sure if you guys have any time spend it outdoors um, it is so therapeutic it is so worth your time it is worth it um, i thank you guys all for being part of this i can't see the chat anymore it is no, no longer giving me what i wanted to see um, but guys we couldn't do this without you we thank you so much for being part of this um, community and we thank you from the bottom of our hearts thank you so much for being part of this uh, thank you for tuning in today we thank you so much make sure you follow us along i will re reveal the results and give away the rod sleeves guys thank you so much for being part of this i again like i said couldn't do it without you hope you guys have a great week remember get out there enjoy yourself enjoy nature be prepared stay safe god bless guys we'll see you soon